Here are the pros and cons of tax deed investing broken down. So pro number one, tax deed investing is the only real estate investment model where you can literally buy property for 90 to 95% below market value. Now it sounds too good to be true, but if you buy a property for just the back taxes owed, you're gonna be able to get a property drastically below market value. And remember, when you buy at a tax deed sale, it wipes out the mortgage. Now, what is a con to that on the other side? Not every property you're gonna be able to buy for just the back taxes owed. Sometimes you may have to pay 50, 60% of market value. It just depends. The other side of that as well is you may go to an auction and things might get bid up to market value. It doesn't mean this business isn't lucrative and you can't buy these properties. The business that you're in of tax deeds, remember this phrase. It's not a matter of if you'll get a home run deal, it's just a matter of when. All we need you to do is be consistent, take action, and do this regularly a couple times a year. And I can guarantee you, whether it's in the first year, second, or third year, you can get one deal that will change your life forever. You just have to stick to it. All right, so one of the other benefits of tax deed investing is the fact that you can get started sometimes with as little as 50 bucks. Like I've purchased property for as little as $50. I've purchased commercial real estate that pays me $1,000 per month in rent. One of my favorite deals, I mention it a lot, a funeral home and a limousine business, bought it for 6,100 bucks, it's worth 75 grand, it pays me $1,000 per month in rent. These are fun deals. I have students who have bought literally a car wash for six grand, it's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, retired with one deal, all right? There is no other real estate genre where you can achieve that and accomplish those types of results, okay? So if you're interested and you're serious about an alternative in real estate, and maybe you've tried wholesaling, fixing and flipping, this is the channel that's gonna show you how to do that. So it helps the algorithm. Give this video a thumbs up if you're liking it. Go ahead, subscribe. Most people who watch aren't subscribed. And what happens is you miss out on all of the key steps to be able to do this stuff effectively and to be able to do it quickly, all right? So what's another risk of this business? Another con of the business is that, I don't like quite using the word con because, you know, pros and cons, you know what I mean? The, the negatives of it, right? A negative is the fact that generally you have to do all of your own property research and due diligence. When you buy a property full market value or through a real estate agent or a title company, you have the title company and inspectors there to be able to protect your butt. So maybe there's an issue with the title, the title company is going to either fix it and deal with it so you have a clear title. When you buy at a tax deed sale, sometimes you might have to clear the title, which isn't a big deal. Um, it just might cost you a little bit of money to be able to do that. Now, some people who are don't study or do the research, <laughs> they just get a list, they go bid, they buy, you know, maybe they end up with something bad on that property. Maybe there's, you know, an environmental hazard and they have to spend money fixing the land, things like that. Or maybe the county didn't notify everybody properly in the chain of the liens. So that's the other benefit of this. Another pro is when you buy these properties, it wipes out the mortgage. And that's how you get these properties mortgage free. Because remember, the tax lien is always the priority lien. Half the states are lien, half the states are deed. And we're talking about the deed states. And in a deed state, the county has sent out the notices, like, you know, Dave and Sally, brother and sister who own the property, <clears throat> they were sent a notice. You know, the mortgage company sent a notice. And the county says, hey, property taxes haven't been paid. Pay them by August 5th or you're gonna get wiped out because whoever records first has the priority of foreclosing. So that's good, that's a pro. But the other side is if you don't do your research properly, maybe you buy the property and the county can make mistakes. Maybe there's two people on title, they notified Bob and Sally, or no, they notified Bob, they didn't notify Sally, <clears throat> and you went, you bought the property, but now Sally's like, oh, wait a minute, I wasn't notified. So that's what you have to do. You have to learn due diligence, all right? So coming back, another one of the pros is this business most people don't understand it. They think it sounds too good to be true. And you'll hear like, oh, if this business is too good to be true, why isn't everybody doing it, right? Well, the thing is, is most people don't understand it. There is 
over 1,500 tax deed counties, and every county does things just a little bit differently. So it's hard to get a pulse on you know, exactly how each one operates. And that's a good thing for you because it keeps people out of this business. Now, that being said, with everything that's happening right now in the economy and things like that, when you hear about this business, I hope it lights a fire under your butt to start doing this because this is one of the best times to do it. With the interest rates, with everything that's happening in the economy and all that sort of stuff, it is a tax deed investor renaissance that's happening. And if you miss out on this, you're gonna look back in five, 10 years and it will be one of the biggest financial regrets of your life. Everybody that I talked to who didn't buy property in 2008 regrets it massively. If you're one of those folks who are like, oh, I wanna sit on the sidelines and see what happens, you know, you're gonna miss, you're gonna miss the boat. This stuff should motivate you so much. Watch a couple more of my videos, then go do it. Below this video is a link to a book. It's totally free, I give it away. It'll show you how to start today. It's a full mini course that'll walk you through it exactly step by step. It's one of the best selling books. I've sold like 60,000 copies of it. It is a full free mini course available below. And as you go down, make sure to subscribe. It helps the channel. But this business is really good. Don't confuse a tax deed sale with like a foreclosure auction. They're very, very different. When you buy at a foreclosure auction, remember, it's not wiping out any mortgages. So there's been horror stories of people going to like a foreclosure auction, say on a $200,000 house, the opening bid is 50 grand, they bid 100, <clears throat> and then maybe there's a $150,000 you know, mortgage or line of credit that didn't get wiped out, and then they're screwed because they're on the hook. With tax deed investing, it wipes out those mortgages and those liens. Now, another drawback or you know negative thing about this business some of these auctions in big cities are too competitive. You may go to that auction and maybe things get bid up to market value. People have no idea what they're doing. <clears throat> now, here's a tip. It's a good thing actually for these auctions, if uh, the other side of the coin, you go to the auction and things are getting bid up market value. Go and network like crazy because these are people who are willing to pay cash and what you can do is you can actually sometimes scoop up these properties before the auction which is called pre-auction now you may not get it 95 percent below market value but we regularly buy these properties pre-auction for 60 70 percent below market value by just getting in touch with the homeowner and then we sell them to the people who are going to bid them up at the auction anyway so that works in your favor so all in all this is one of the best real estate models and tools that you can use to start to create financial freedom with real estate. Stop sitting on the sidelines. It's time to go. This channel is here to help you. I'm here to help you. If you want help, below this video is a link. You can book a one-on-one -on -one call and myself and my team will build you a custom investment plan broken down into four steps. We'll save you three to five years of trial and error. We'll save you from making mistakes on these properties so that you can go and start doing this stuff right away. So ask a question in the comments if you have a question. I really appreciate your time watching these videos and I will continue to make them to help you get into this business, grow it and scale it. Until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.